Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that will be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratiza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spread and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson today, early this morning, very early this morning, is going to be through the spread and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Um, I don't really have a title, but I have an idea. Okay, so this lesson is inspired by um, <laughs> I, I I I came I just pulled up to work and I'm speeding, trying to get to work, you know, because uh, we have a new time. I usually go in for a certain time in the morning, but they just reset the time for us to come in 15 minutes earlier that than that usual uh, early time in the morning. But it's black dark, and I get to the job, and now we can't. Nobody can enter into the building because the, the, the power is out around the whole site. The power is out. So, you know, they asking for nobody to go inside. So, you know, Spirit got on me to come back to the car and just make a video. So I'm like, man, this is like, <laughs> this is to me, this is like a preload to, 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 to what's coming, man. I'm sitting here out in the parking lot in, in darkness, you know. Nobody can enter the building. But I'm, like I say... Hey man, the scripture speaks about no work for Egypt. All right? And ultimately, we know, all right, that it's going to get to a point, right? Where you ain't going to be able to go to work <laughs> when shit hit the fan, as they say, so to speak. Okay? All right? So, yeah, man, I'm looking around and it's down black dark. I can see all, all, all the other employees, you know, walking around who ain't standing by the door. Walking around, some people gathering up, talking, sitting by their cars or whatever. So, hey, yeah, man, <laughs> I can't wait, you know, until you don't have to actually go to work at all. No more in Babylon. <laughs> okay? So, at the end of the day, hey, we've been uh, 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 ready to, to not be able to, 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 to go in, man. Not, we're waiting for that time to come because we are already, in our minds, already detached from this place, man. Okay, let's get a scripture real quick. Um, let's get uh, yeah, let's 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 get this. Let's get Micah two and ten. This is Micah chapter two and verse ten. It says, "Arise ye and depart." Okay, meaning in your mind, for this is not your rest. Okay, this is not rest. We're looking forward for the, the the return of our Lord. Okay, those who love is apparent, and the setting up of the kingdom of heaven here on earth. Okay, the rulership of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, King David immediately underneath our Lord Yahweh Shai, the throne of David, man. Okay, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. We're looking for the kingdom because it is polluted. You see, this place is polluted, man, and it will destroy you even with a saw of destruction. Look how they run in this place. Look what's going on. Okay, he's pushing this damn alphabet agenda heavy on the people, man. You see. Come on, man. This place polluted, man. You see? So we longing for the days like these when <laughs> we ain't have to go to work. We ain't have to go in at all. Okay? You see? We're going we can to be staying 100% on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? I'm going to get that scripture also. But let me get this. This scripture come to mind to back up Micah 2. Um, Micah 2 and 10. Let's get Romans. Let's get Romans 12 and 2. Romans chapter 12 and 2. This scripture comes to the mind. To mind to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem El Shai. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. See, at the end of the day, yeah, we all about the will of the Lord, man. Okay, beginning with myself first and foremost. Okay, enlightened minded brothers that are looking for the kingdom. 
Okay, looking for the appearing of our Lord. You see, we 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 about the will of the Lord, man. We about keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. Our ability, rehearsing the righteous acts, as it says in Judges five and eleven, man. Okay. All right, doing our best to put our best foot forward, giving diligence to make our calling and election sure. You know, being brotherly. Okay, being charitable, showing that, that brotherly love toward one another. Okay, doing what we. Uh, 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 know through the scriptures makes the most I uh, uh, delights in us, man. You know, doing that which the Lord delights in, what makes Him happy. You know, to the best of our ability, of course. You know, but yeah, <laughs> that's what it is, man. Right now, we're approaching a time where we're gonna have to stay fully, okay, <clears throat> upon your heart, Bashim El Shai. You see, because we know at the end of the day. You know, you got your, your your daily bread, okay? You got your, your you know, most I give you a place to stay, you know, maybe a vehicle to drive, you know? Some brothers might have a uh, have to take the bus, but at least they got money to actually take it, okay? Whatever lot you're in right now, the Lord got you in it going through. You just got to have to deal with it, man, you know? You have to deal with it until the Lord raises you up, Okay? All right, and then and, and ultimately we want to be ultimately raised up out of out of here, man. Okay, like like our forefather Enoch. Okay, his testimony that was that he uh, pleased the Lord, and we come in in, in a light mind. Okay, so we could be uh, uh, ultimately raised up, man. Okay, at the end of the day, because we know that tribulation is coming, and it's, we know that it's going to be by way of tribulation. That the elect are the one wrath arm of that precious number are delivered. You see? We know it's going to be by a way of tribulation. Acts chapter 14, verse 22 says, Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we through much tribulation shall enter into the kingdom. Okay? <clears throat> First Peter chapter uh, 4, verse 17 goes into how judgment is going to begin at the house of the Most High, roughly paraphrasing. And the 18 verse tells you, saying, if the, right, if the righteous scarcely be saved, Okay, where shall the sinner and the ungodly appear? The righteous are going to scarcely be saved because it's going to be a time of trouble. And this is what we, we, we warning you about. Ezekiel 3 and 17, Son of mine have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. We here to warn the people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We warning you of the impending dangers that, that's coming, man. World War Three. Okay, Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 7, a time as like never before, man. <clears throat> you see? But he shall be saved out of it. Who's the he? The elect. Once again, I don't run right, does that mean in law of willing? I'm a part of that precious number that's going to be delivered, man. You see? We want to be lifted up, man. We want to <clears throat> we want to stand it to be lifted up for us to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei as it tells you in Isaiah 59, chapter 59 and verse 19. You see, because the devil is going to come down having great wrath. Revelation 12 and 12. You see, we know these things, man. Why? Amos uh, 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 3 and 7. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he will reveal his secrets unto his servants of prophets, man. You see, so as I'm here, sitting in my car in black dark, I'm still watching employees pull up, but ain't nobody can enter in the building. You know, got one, one or two people entering in, in the building because they have to do with maintenance, but I guess they're waiting on the power company to come restore power, you know? But, I mean, you're pressing gas to get over here, you know, as fast as you can. And, just, and you get here, you, you're in pitch darkness. Everybody outside of the way. And I tell you, see, just like the Lord said, you coming as a thief in the night. You, you don't know when, but you got to be ready. You know what I'm saying? You don't know exactly when, but you just know that you got to be ready. So at the end of the day, hey, we want to finish our course, man. We're fighting to finish the course. Okay, that's why, you know, encourage uh, brothers to continue in the faith, to, to keep fighting the good fight of faith. Because we know it's going to get to a, a time like this where it's going to be complete darkness. You, you could just have the moon to, 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 to give light at night certain times when, 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 when it really goes down. You know, when, 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 when it really gets, you know, because so much things prophesied to come, man. Up, uproars of the people, World War III, they got to bring this karagma. You know, ultimately the return of our Lord, but you got to go through all of these things to get, you got to go through the, the straight gate, man. You got to go through the narrow to come into the broad, so to speak, as the scriptures say. So at the end of the day, it's going to be tribulation and you got to go through things, man. You're going to, you're going to be tested, man. Uh, um, 
what's that uh let's get it revelation 3 and 10 you see this is the lord's movie all right revelation chapter 3 verse 10 okay because we know one of the ultimate prophecies that we see everything coming together they're dealing with this uh uh trying to go digital they have this thing called reverse atms okay where you put you put cash in and it give you a card okay so everything is going digital now where is that all leading to the karagma man okay revelation chapter 13 verse 16 on down you see <clears throat> and that's going to bring us here to revelation chapter 3 and verse 10 because the lord said this, this is red letter it says because thou has kept the word of my patience i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them which dwell upon the earth so you're going to be tried man you're going to be tested okay all right, this is prophesied. Uh, our forefather John the Revelator he prophesied of this on the island of Patmos over two thousand years ago, man. You see that 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 he saw the vision that in the future, in these times, the Lord gave him the vision, okay, to prophesy about these times to come, man. They're gonna try to put that 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 digital all inside of you, man. Okay, the ultimate control, man. <clears throat> and if you bow to that, the Lord say he's gonna destroy you. Revelation fourteen. Chapter 14, verse 9, going down. You see? So at the end of the day, <laughs> it would behoove you to seek the Lord and repent and turn to the Lord. Acts 3 and 19, repent ye therefore and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You know, you need your transgressions to be blotted out, man. You know? And this is why the Lord's saying right here, you know, those that turn to him and keep his way, okay, meaning the commandments to the best of your ability, the Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. You see? He says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Who's the thou? The, the elect, man. Those who are going to adhere to the word of the Lord and do his will. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. The Lord is saying right here, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world. This word, world right here in the Greek is oikomeni, meaning the whole entire earth, man, inhabited earth. Okay? To try them which dwell upon the earth, you see? So you're going to be tried, man. You're going to be tested. Okay, so at the end of the day, the scriptures tell you, okay, uh, 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 let's get it, um, what's that, Romans 11, Romans 11 and about 4, uh, you know, what the Lord said, this is Apostle Paul, <coughs> it says, but uh, Romans 11 and 4, but what say the answer of the Most High unto him, I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the need to the image of Baal. So you have, you're going to have certain men that, okay, they ain't going to bow to the, to, 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 to the system, man. They'll choose death. Death before dishonor. Okay? So, yeah, you're going to have some brothers who are going to, uh, uh, okay, lose their life, okay, because they're not bowing. Okay? But they, ultimately, they're going to they're gonna, uh, uh, regain their life, man, eternally, to the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. You see? Um, at the end of the day, the Lord said, you know, those who seek to save their life shall lose it, and those who uh, 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 lose their life for, uh, uh, for, 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 for his name's sake shall find it, man. You see? Roughly paraphrasing. Okay, let's read verse 5. It says, even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. So there is a remnant. Okay, the Lord always preserve a remnant, no matter what time period in history of, 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 of the chosen lion and the sons of God. You see, from the beginning of creation, the, the Lord had the sons of God, man. Those giants from in the beginning, those men of renown, okay, mighty men. The Lord always reserve a, 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 a remnant, man. You see, he had, he had it started with Adam, okay. You know, that generation, that line, go right down, you know. Uh, uh, set Enos, you know, and then the world became after a while when they, they fell from the way, the world became corrupt, and, and it was it was uh, after a while, you know, so much corruption in the world through the wicked seed of, of Cain, all right, and our people falling away. Um, through the Lord decided to flood the whole earth, man, and He delivered a remnant which was Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their wives, just eight souls, man, okay, but He reserved a remnant, okay. After the flood, you know, um, uh, roughly speaking through it, uh, going back through history, um, um, Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, and, and the, the chosen line continued through, 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 through Shem, 
okay, at Shem, a Faxad, okay, and then and then let's go on until you get down to um, Abraham, man. You see, the Lord uh, made a covenant with Abraham and, and confirmed the same in uh, uh, Isaac and can also confirm the seed into the same into Jacob, okay. Uh, before this time, we were, they were called the sons of God, the, 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 the chosen line, okay. And then when it, came, it came down to Jacob, okay. Jacob wrestled with an angel, okay. All right, and uh, at that same point, all right, uh, the angel told Jacob, the, 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 uh, Jacob asked the angel to bless him. And the, the angel told, uh, roughly paraphrasing Jacob, that his name would no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For, for as a prince, thou has power with the Most High and with men, roughly paraphrasing, and, and has prevailed. You see? So at the end of the day, Jacob, now who's Jacob, the progenitor of the, uh, the patriarch of the 12 tribes of Israel? That's where the Israelites, okay? Israelites. And when you go into Israel, the word Israel in the Hebrew is Yasha Allah, okay? Yah meaning he, all right? Shah meaning prince, Allah meaning power. He, prince, power. He's the son of the power, man. Son of God, okay? You see? Sons of God, man. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, all right. <laughs> you are the Israelites, man, of the of the, the, the of the uh, the respective tribes, man. You see, all right. And also remember that the, the scriptures coin a time of trouble for you in these times. Jacob's troubled, right? Jeremiah chapter thirty, and that's what we that's what I was been say, was saying from the beginning of this 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 uh, uh, lesson that we know that these things is coming. Jacob's trouble. Let's go to and read that. So these are the things that we're preparing for, man. You see. Um, so when we just like I was saying, it's like just sitting here in the car, it's still the, 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 the it's like you know, it's black dark, but it's early in the morning, so the sun waiting for the sun to come up, all right, and they still the power still ain't on yet, you see. But, um, let's get uh, where was that? Jacob, uh, Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah chapter 30, you see, Jeremiah chapter 30. Let's go to and verse 7. Okay, as a matter of fact, I'm going to start at 4. It says, Alas, for that day is great. You see, it's talking about this time to come. This is a future prophecy, real soon. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Bible coins a time of trouble for you. Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Who's the he? The elect, Salaki, I said I was going to start at four and then jump in at seven. Salaki, let me start at four. It says, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, okay? Northern kingdom and southern kingdom. For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. You see, these are the times that we're getting ready to enter. Remember 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1, and this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. When you go into perilous, it means dangerous, savage, Fierce, hard to do, okay. The times we're coming into. And remember, what, remember what our Lord said in, in, in Matthew chapter twenty-four and verse uh, eight, where it says, "These are just the beginning of sorrows, man." Okay, perplexity, nations, nations in perplexity, man. It says, um, six verse six. Ask ye now and see whether the whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? See, this is the time that you come in and two people are going to be afraid, man. It's like it says, as, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. For verse 7, this is the point. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. He is the elect, man. He's going to be saved out of it, man, because, all right, those souls are going to be trusting solely on solely and wholly, wholly, that word, on Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. They're going to be trusting in the Lord. They remember Proverbs chapter um, Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Okay? The righteous, the elect. Okay? Sirach, Sirach uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 17 and verse 10 say, The elect is going to praise his holy name. The elect. I'm going to praise the holy name of the Lord, man. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You see, let's get this. Um, this is um, uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 10. 
and verse 20. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the, the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. In truth, you see, verse 21, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. You see, those who have the understanding, those who the Lord uh, reveal his secrets unto, they understand this man, and to the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, is the scriptures and the wisdom of the scriptures what they're going to use through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to be in the right places for the Lord to deliver them, man. You see, how do we know? Let's get this in. Um, let's get. I'm gonna get two more scriptures and I'm gonna close out. Uh, let's get um, Isaiah, Isaiah 33. You see, through wisdom, you see. Wisdom, it says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. This is what's going to keep you stable in the times of trouble, man, because it's going to be a whole lot of trouble and tribulation, right? But wisdom, knowing the secrets of the Lord, the Lord revealing his secrets unto you, showing you where to go through the Spirit, where to be, where the food is going to be at when there's famine, where a place of shelter is going to be at when, you know what I'm saying, you need a place of covering. The Lord is going to be guiding you through the Spirit, man. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So if you fear the Lord, man, hey, that's the way to go. You see? That's the way to go. Another scripture that comes to mind. What's the scripture I had? This, no, okay, I, I, had, I, I had a scripture, but I, I just have another scripture that's popped up in my head through the Spirit. Let's get this in Proverbs real quick, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna close over second. That's just the ninth chapter. Uh, but Proverbs came to my mind, speaking of wisdom and how the spirit is was what's gonna navigate, navigate brothers in in, in that time. Man, uh, Proverbs chapter Proverbs chapter two and verse ten. It says, "When wisdom entereth into thine heart, meaning your mind, the Hebrew word for heart." In the Old Testament, it's lab, which means your mind. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee. You see, discretion, being able to discern, discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. And, how, uh, and where is the the the, the most uh, 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 wisdom to be found at in the scriptures, man? You see, this is this is this is this is the. This is out of the mouth of the Lord, man. Wisdom, which is a gift. All good gifts come from above, you see? So it begins with the scriptures, man. Um, Psalms 119 and verse 9. Beth wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed unto thy word, man. It's through this word that you are healed. Through this word you get understanding, man. It says, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of the evil man. You see, the man that speaketh forward things. Now we know who's the, the accuser of, uh, 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 of thy brethren, man. Esau, man. Okay, you want to be delivered from the from the from the the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. Remember, he he, he framed mischief by the seed. Remember, they went out to deceive the nations. You see, so hey, that's it, man. But um, I'm 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 gonna close it off here. In the book of uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, man. Yeah, shit. I mean, you can start to see the the skyline is changing. It's still dark, but you can see like the the, the, the sunlight. Not the sunlight, but the the you know you can see that little. It's getting a little brighter and brighter as as morning start to appear. But no power. The power still ain't on yet. But uh, let's get Second Ezra, man. Second Ezra. Hey, man. This is like I say. <laughs> It's just, just giving me a little vibe as uh, 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 what's to come, man. This, hey, you can show up to you can show up to work one day and it ain't no work. <laughs> you see, what the scripture said, it ain't gonna be no work for Egypt, man. That's why uh, Isaiah 19 and verse 15. Well, let's get this. A second Ezra. Um, the book of Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, beginning at the seventh verse. See, this is how the movie is gonna play out. I'm gonna read this down to the. I'm gonna read this down to the. Um, I'm gonna read this down to the to the to the twelve verse, and I'm gonna cite the scripture. Um, um, 
uh, what's that? Zechariah, the 13th chapter, beginning at the 8th verse, where it says, And two parts therein shall be cut off and die, meaning two thirds of our own people, 66.6%. .6%. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. You see? Uh, uh, the wicked of our people, two thirds of them, that's a heavy number, 66.6. .6, all right? It says, but, but the one third shall be brought through the fire and tried. Roughly paraphrasing it. So one third, which is the elect, they're going to be delivered. So that same precept right there. Um, just roughly paraphrasing, I'm going to go through 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, down to the 12th, and I'm going to read the 7th and 8th verse, which is going into the elect. Those are going to be, those who, who are going to adhere to the words of the Lord and, and, and be delivered. Okay, it says, And everyone that shall be saved, okay, meaning the elect, and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby he have believed, okay? This is speaking of the elect, those who are going to be delivered. Not all of Israel is going to be delivered, just the elect. Okay, the Lord say, um, Matthew chapter 24 and verse, uh, what's that verse, 30, 31, where the Lord say he's going to send his angels to gather his elect from the four winds. You see? Let me read it again. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 7, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. All right? Verse 8, shall be preserved from the said perils. Remember we read, uh, I, I quoted, uh, 2 Timothy verse 3 and verse 1, and, 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 and this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. The law is saying here in 2 Timothy chapter 9 and verse 8 says, shall be preserved from the said perils. The elect are going to be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So this is the reason why we're watching the scripture the Lord said to watch as well as pray. So when I see things like this, I'm sitting in my car, all the employees them around, they're still waiting for the power to be turned on. But what what they could do? They sitting around, they they talking. I'm in my car I'm making a lesson. Okay? Because I things like this, you take the opportunity to make video, man, okay? To 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 to, to foreshadow uh, uh 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 the times to come, man. Okay? The scriptures tell you say, um uh uh the a, a prudent man foresee the evil and hides himself, man. Okay? How 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 do you hide yourself? Psalms ninety one and one, man. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, the Scriptures. Okay, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, man. At the end of the day, all right. They up there talking, sitting around. I choose to come make a lesson, bro. All right. <laughs> so hey, after this, man, it says shall be preserved from the set perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Now, that's dealing with the elect, those who, those who are going to be delivered, man. Now, that's so that's the one-third, all right? So the two-thirds of our people, all right, who, who ain't adhering to the words of the Lord, okay? This part going down from verse 9, second Ezra chapter 9, and verse 9 going down to verse 12, is talking about those people who are not going to repent. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case. When you go into that word pitiful, it means pathetic you're going to be looking pathetic in that day because you didn't listen to the lord all right going back to uh the story of noah look how noah our forefather Noah, he preached for over 120 years okay during that time it was just mist it wasn't no rain so the people didn't believe him they looked, they thought he was crazy okay but guess what when the water started to come <laughs> you didn't think they were trying to get inside that ark but they couldn't get it because the lord shut the door you see so yeah, you don't take heed, it's going to ultimately be a judgment. It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away spitefully, despitefully, shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Okay, you received benefits. You had your job, you could have worked, you had a car, you had a life, you had a wife, you had all these things, but you still ain't, you still didn't. Uh, uh, give the most high his glory and, and kept the fear of the Lord. You know, it says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. You don't even know the Lord by his, his true name. Okay, which is Yahweh. Okay, his, his, his son name. Okay, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior. You see? Verse 11, it says, and they that have loathed my law while yet, says, while they had yet Liberty, meaning this grace spirit which you're in right now to seek the Lord and repent. And when yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not 
but despised it. You see? Despised it. It says, this is the point, verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. The same must know it after death by pain. So you see, at the end of the day, that's why the Lord said, except you repent, you shall likewise perish. So that's the message, man. Hey, except you repent, you're going to likewise perish, man. All right? And But at the end of the day, the Lord went on the cross. To, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, he was that sacrificial lamb to give re to remission of sin, okay, uh, 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 to, for, for Israel, man. All right? So at the end of the day, all all Israel shall be saved, but not at this time. All right. Some 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 are gonna be some are gonna be lost on the side, but they're gonna come back into the kingdom. All right, we just read it. They're gonna have to understand they must know it by death by pain because they ain't they ain't gonna repent. But they are gonna come back in the kingdom through through the lowings of an Israelite man and an Israelite woman. They're gonna come back into the kingdom, born into the kingdom, into the in, in their right minds. You see? They're gonna come back born in their right mind. So uh, I know I said I was going to close over that, but two two more scriptures just come to mind real quick. Let me just prove that real quick. Uh, Romans 11 and 26, I believe it is. Let me grab that and I'm going to grab one more scripture. Um, it says, and so shall, right, this is the Apostle Paul, Romans 11 and 26. It says, and so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. You see, and all and so all Israel shall be saved as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer in our Lord, okay, Yahweh, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. You see, but the goal is to get it to get it to get it on the first go round. Okay, okay. As, as the Lord says, why should why should you die when you can when you can live? Right? Uh the scripture comes to mind, I'm gonna close right here. Um as uh, Revelation, Revelation, the twentieth chapter, I think it's the sixth verse. Uh, yeah, we can close out right here. This is Revelation chapter twenty and verse six. It says, "Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection," meaning those who are gonna get it on the first go round. They, they, they're gonna be beamed up on what the world ignorantly calls UFOs. Okay, but we know them to be the chariots of Israel, man. As uh, Elisha, as Elisha coined it in the scriptures. The chariots of Israel, okay. Blessed and holy is he that take uh, slack here. Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection. All right, meaning the first go round. On such the second death, okay. Now, what is the second death? The fire, the lake of fire. The first death was the flood. So the second death is the, the lake of fire that's going to be created by ICBM missiles when they're shot into the ends of the earth, man. You see, according to uh, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter and the 13th verse, all right, it says, "On such the second death had no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Mashiach, and shall reign with Him a thousand years." You see that? So that's what we're looking forward to, man. Okay. So yeah, hopefully this lesson was edifying. Okay. I'm going to end it there. I'm going to give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Rekak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom.